my goodness, I'm shocked the shutter button is working for the first time. The first press and it worked. But it looks very blurry. Oh my God, I can't stand this uh, phone. But we here, it don't matter. I haven't done a full video like this in my little office space in a while. So that's why I wanted to come down here and uh, do a little video at my little office space downstairs. I want to be cooped up in my room when I'm doing longer videos. So the Lord put it on my heart to get up and actually come down here and make a video on my, you know, as far as a longer video. Even though I'm not feeling too good, y'all. You know, I can't admit I'm having like severe, not even severe, mild to severe pains every time I breathe. So when I breathe in, it just feels like a washcloth is being like rained out. Like it just feel like I'm something is squeezing up in here. I don't know what it is. And it's making my right arm feel very weak on top of me feeling tired. So I don't know what that means, y'all, but I think that means get to a hospital, right? <laughs> I am, I am. I just wanted to come on here and give y'all a word before I um, go figure out what's going on with me, okay? Even though, don't, don't talk junk about me, y'all. Because we know y'all end up saying, why don't you go now? <laughs> I'm all right in the name of Jesus. So, I wanted to talk to y'all about fake love. Okay, fake love. And I call it, I call it out because this is happening too much. This is happening so much around the world. And it's been happening for decades, mostly all of our lives. Fake love. Let me elaborate on that. It's so easy for somebody, especially narcissists. It is very easy to mirror you. It's very easy to mimic you. It's very easy to show you that we love you in such little light and make you believe that we love you profoundly when really the bare minimum is done. Okay? Now, what I mean by fake love is people that will be in your life that won't show you any love as far as like support, attention, anything of that matter, help, anything in that matter. But the minute you tell them how you feel as far as like, you don't do shit for me. You don't do nothing. You always in a bag helping somebody else. You don't do shit for me. Whenever you tell somebody something like that, that's when they act like, oh, well, I could start doing now. Or, or, or what you need? You never told me what you need. or that. Mind you, you tell people all the time, what is it? What is it? You know, what, what do you need? But these people will sit there and act oblivious. Like, I don't know what you need. You don't say nothing. You don't open your mouth and say nothing. But what about the same people that they help? Do those people open their mouth or do you automatically just know what they need, know what they want because you pay attention? You take attention to detail because you care. When a person cares enough, it shows. Always remember that, guys. If anybody says they love you, which nowadays love is being thrown around like nothing. It's just being just, do I love you, do yeah, I love you too, yeah, do. It's just being thrown around. It's not even a meaningful word anymore, it seems like. It seems like it has no meaning to it anymore. The word love. Because you have people in your life that will tell you I love you. That will turn around and stab you in the back in so many aspects, so many ways. And you'll be like, well, damn, is this your definition of love? And then they'll, they'll act oblivious on it. Like, what, what, what did I do? What, 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 what did I do? See, people like that, very dangerous. They're very dangerous individuals. The people that act oblivious to the bullshit that they put out into the universe. When they act like they have no clue, like, I don't have an inkling. Like, it's, it's not even there. It's far-fetched. I have no idea what I did wrong. Because that's what they act like. It's like, it's not even an idea there. It's like, I, I'm, I'm stuck. And it's like, wait a minute, you have an idea what the hell you did. You have a clue, even if it's a freaking tiny clue, you have a clue of what you did. But, but people 
people that act like I have no idea, like none whatsoever. Please elaborate. And then when you elaborate on the situation, they act defensive. They, they, they victim shame themselves. They try to make an excuse and justify what they did when they already know what they did. They just want to hear it from you. So then that way they could think of something in their mind to reverse psychology back on you and make it seem like, no, no, you're wrong. It wasn't like that. It wasn't that way. I didn't mean it like that. See, you misinterpreted what I was saying. When really, you're not stupid. You know exactly what a person says. You know exactly the intention on what they were saying and how they were saying it and what they were doing and going about how they're doing it. They know exactly what the hell they do. When people sit up there and say, I love you, I love you, I love you, but then they go to the next individual that clearly don't love them and they treat them like royalty. The people that don't give a damn about them, that are spit on them, that are stomp their ass six feet more feet, six more feet under. Those same people get abundance from these people. Royalty, loyalty, everything you can think of. But the ones that's really there for these individuals, what they do. I love you. Here's the bare minimum. Here's crumbs. But I love you here. I got a crumb for you. A hell, if that. It's either I got a crumb for you or I ain't got nothing for you. Then they going off to the next person, giving them a whole meal, <laughs> entree, dessert. And then it'll come to you and tell you, I love you. Don't get confused with the fake love, y'all. Don't get confused with it. Because see, what's going to happen is you're going to continue to do it abundantly for this for these people. You're going to do so much for these people. And they're going to keep confusing your brain by doing the nothing. The, the nothing that they do, they're going to continue to confuse your brain to make you think, well, they did something. They did something. No, they didn't do enough. Straight up. You didn't do enough. Compared to what y'all do for these people, they didn't do enough. It was a nothing. And I said what I said. You know, some people act like, well, just be grateful. F that. We're not grateful when it comes to everything that we put in for, to these people compared to what we got out. I'm not grateful for that. <laughs> That's why I had to walk away. I had to walk away from that. It ain't, it ain't no grace in that. Of me being a stupid individual. Doing, doing, doing for people that's clearly doing barely nothing for me. If that, nothing at all. Don't fool yourselves, man. Do not fool yourself. Because I always say this all the time. We can lie to individuals. We can fool. We can try to fool other people. Hell, we could try to even fake a whole facade as far as, you know, pretend we a whole other individual. But when you go alone in the comfort of your own existence, your own space, your own reality, your own mentality, do you not understand how much you're going to be thinking about the real bullshit person you are? See, that, 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 that's one of the reasons why people like to be around other people. Because they don't want to go home and face the reality of their shitty selves. So let me invite all these people over. Or let me get dressed and go out somewhere so I can have some validation. Or so I don't have to really sit and dwell or bask in my own sorrow. Don't do it to yourselves, okay? Don't 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 sit up here because we all know the difference. We all know the difference of somebody buying somebody a car, and then you know, as a gift, you get a fucking excuse my language because this is what it is. A person will buy you a car. Let's say it's Christmas. You go outside. They put the blindfold over your face. They take the blindfold off. You got a brand new car. They looking at you like you know, waiting for a gift. They ain't gonna say it because you know. But at the same time, they looking like, mm, you know, I can't wait to see what this person got for me. How they thought about me. It don't got to be a car, but, you know, the equivalent of something that still you can tell what's, you know, had got some, put some thought into the, the gift. 
that part. So you'll get the car and they'll get get you maybe a let's say they got you a toy model car, for instance. You know, let, let's say you was a type of person that you know you like uh, antiques and different stuff like that or whatever. They'll be the type you 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 buy them a brand new car and they'll come with a toy model car for you. Like, here, look, I got you that. Mind you, don't get it twisted. The toy model car will not be exclusive, expensive, or worth nothing. It'll probably be like a toy car from Family Dollar or some shit. Dollar Tree or some shit. A little toy model car. Walmart, maybe. Put it like this. The thought in the gift was null and void. It was nothing. You just, you didn't even think about it. You just said, oh, fuck, let me get that for them. While this person thought it through, they, they they knew what you need. You didn't have a vehicle. They, they, they knew that you got responsibilities. They want to help you so profoundly. So they thought about you in such a vast way. But you, on the other hand, is like, mm, I think they're like this. You're like, what the F? But then the next individual that don't love you, don't care about you, will treat you like dirt on a freaking ground. You will take your time looking for a gift. You will take your time making sure that it's it's a sentimental gift. You'll take your time to show that love for that person. And not saying that, okay, materialistic stuff is not a part of love. Okay, yeah, not indeed. Yes, indeed. But it does show how you feel about a person. It does. Because when you take your time out for a beautiful gift, like my daughter, she took her time out and ordered me a beautiful necklace for Mother's Day, a beautiful bracelet to match it. My daughter. You cannot, honestly, or... Funny thing is, we already know as well. Like, it's not like we're oblivious to it or we don't know what these people, like the fake love that they put on us. It's not like we don't know. We do know it. We just don't say nothing. We just, you know, we talk to ourselves and we tell ourselves like, dang, really? That That's it? That's what I get? That's what I get? Slim to none? Nothing? Fake love, y'all. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Fake love, man. And it'll be the same people that say, I love you. I want you, I want you to come around, all this different stuff. And it's the same people that show you no love. They show you no support. They show you nothing. Nothing. Mind you, it's the same individuals that have access to what you're doing. So let's say you're doing something productive and you're trying to make a difference in your life, a vast difference in your life for the for the universe even because this is helping people around the world potentially you will have people that show the fake love and what i mean by that is let me give a straight up example my youtube channel this channel you will have people say i love you i support you this and that and the third but won't won't have a comment for shit not even one but they watching you know that know that these people are watching y'all man oh they watching y'all like a hawk they, they honestly, they the biggest cheerleaders in the back. You get it in the back watching. They not supporting. Don't get it twisted. This, this is why I said fake love, because it'll be the same people saying I was supporting you. I, I know about your channel. Were you actually supporting? Were you commenting? Were you sharing? Did you, you know, were you doing that? You know, helping me with the algorithm of this shit, because that's how it happens. The more comments, the more likes, the more shares. That's how this algorithm goes. That's how your videos will start to be placed out there for people to see. When you're not commenting and you're not saying shit and you just watching, watching and being nosy, it's not helping me. It's not. It's not helping me. Even though I don't care, hey, continue to watch. Cool. Because I want you to hear this word because it's a word specifically for you. So, yes, watch me. Watch me talk my shit about your ass. Yes. <laughs> watch me. I love it. I have an audience and it might not be an audience that's really supportive. Like I like, you know what I'm saying? That, that real love, but it's an audience that's still willing to watch you. That still got some inspiration. You got some inspiration on them for them to be clocking your ass and cock blocking on your ass like that. It is what it is. I said what I said. Thank you for watching though. I appreciate it.
But it would be nice if you comment sometime. God damn it. Because in my brain, stop watching me, please. I don't even want you watching me. If you can't really interact, don't watch me. Because the more, the more videos I do, the more I'm going to keep talking my shit. And it's going to get worse. Okay? It's going to get worse. Not worse as in disrespectful, but worse as in just telling my testimony. Speaking my truth. Eventually, you'll get so pissed off where you don't want to watch anymore because you just can't take it. You can't fathom the shit that's coming out my mouth. <laughs> oh, I know how to get people to start talking. Trust me. I'm just being very humble right now. But I know how to hit buttons and make people speak. But I'm not that kind of person. But who's to say if the Lord puts it in me because he says, you know what? Enough is enough. It's time for these people to own up to what the hell they did. So fit. So be it. I'll do exactly what he said. And I ain't talking to nobody anyway. Y'all ain't talking to nobody anyway. Continue this separation. Continue this journey of separation. It feels astounding to me. In fact, it's changing my life. As we speak right now, things are being open. Portals are being open. Doors are being open for us, for me, for you guys. Chosen one. They're being open. All the manipulation, all the abuse, all the narcissistic abuse that was put onto us chosen ones is coming back. It's coming back. So now as I think back on it, thank you, Lord, for not taking away this golden heart that I do have. Because it's been plenty of times I've asked him to take it away. I don't want it because this world is full of shit. So I don't want this heart. Let me be evil like everybody else. It seems like they get abundance from it. But no, 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 no. See, y'all got to understand that the devil will bless you too. He'll give you what you want to. As long as you do his devious acts, his conniving acts, and he'll give you everything you want to, just like God will. See, but the difference is God abundance he don't snatch it away like the, devil, like the devil will. The devil, he'll give you what you want, but guess what? Your soul is on the line. So when he come for his due, what you think are going to happen to all that shit that you done acquired or wanted because I just want it? He going to take all that away from you, and then he going to take your soul because that was the deal. To give you everything you wanted in exchange. It was an exchange. It's not a fair or even exchange, but hey, well, what, what, what do these cons know? They don't know. They just want what they want. Materialistic shit, money, power, control. They don't care about nothing else. They'll step on your ass in the way. They'll roll you over and run you over while being in the way. They don't care. They just want what they want. This ain't love. It ain't love. Don't get it misconstrued, y'all. It ain't love. Is control, is power, is abuse. Once you realize that, you could be like, you know what? Let me get this fake shit out my way. Let me get this fake so-called love out my way. Because this ain't love. This ain't love. How dare people pretend that they care about somebody doing the bare minimum like somebody's stupid like they don't know that you're just trying to do a little something to keep your foot in the door because that's what it is these people try to do a little something to be like see can i still peek a boot can i still peek my head in I, I gave you a crumb at least can i peek my head in still here let me give you another crumb that way i can put my foot in that next hell if i give you the whole bread can i come in the door It's sad. It's sad. Straight up, it's sad. And I'm not putting up with it no more. Y'all shouldn't either. <laughs> Don't put up with it no more. That's why I'm so happy that I've grown to not really care. Not even say care, because I still care about human race. I still care about people. Of course, that's just in my heart. I can't take that away. But what I have grown into, I've grown into a stronger version and still continuing to grow into the stronger version of me. To a point where if I decide to have people in my life to love on me, that's my choice. Okay? 
That's my choice. I can also be like hell. F you. And keep going about my day. Keep going about my life. Now that I know that I possess these attributes, these traits inside of me, these positive things inside of me, why the hell would I go back to negativity? If I know that the positivity resides inside of me, if you know the positivity resides inside of you, why would you go back to the negativity again when you know that you possess these attributes? You. So you go over there to Joe or, or Sim or Susan, they don't got these traits. They got the negative traits. So you're going to bring your positive traits to the negative traits and what you think going to happen? Hello. So I'm so happy I'm able to separate myself whenever need be, whenever I want to. If I felt like I let me go around, which I, I don't feel like that because people aren't trying to dig within themselves and make the change within themselves. Being that you're not willing to make the change within yourself, I cannot come around you because you're not trying to, to heal within yourself, within yourself. I bit my lip. You have to heal. I'm healing over here. How am I supposed to be positive and come back out in, in, into the forefront of individuals or people that I used to, that, that I love? I still love, of course. I meant to say what I used to be around. How can I come and bring my positivity around people that still haven't healed from past traumas? You still haven't healed. How the hell am I going to come around you? You still negative. I'm trying to be around that negative shit. Once you be able to heal within yourself, I'll come around. Because now I don't got to hear none of that negative shit. I don't got to hear none of that past trauma shit. I don't got to hear you playing a victim. I don't care about that victim mentality no more. I was a victim for all my life, you might as well say. Victim mentality ain't, ain't, ain't flying with me no more. Crying ain't flying with me no more. Hell, if I could tell you how much tears I had, this whole apartment would be filled. I'd be drowning in this mug. How many tears I done cried in this place? Who cared about my tears? Not a damn soul, but Jesus Christ. That's the only one who here with me. He's the only one that been, you know, going through the, the, the roller coaster ride with me. Ain't nobody been going through this roller coaster ride with me when I'm sitting here by myself in, in sorrow, wallowing in depression and anxiety, ready to just say, I throw in a towel. I don't want to do this shit no more. I can't do this shit no more. It's not even a factor of wanting. I can't do it no more. The will wasn't in me. That's why I had to separate myself because I felt no willpower in me. I felt so depleted, so defeated, so weak. Because of shit that everybody else felt. And you know what's so scary about it? A lot of these people feel like how I was feeling. That's some scary shit. That's some scary shit. Because the way I was feeling, I wanted to off myself at one point. I didn't want to live no more. Now, mind you, that feeling wasn't mine. It was projected on me, which lets me know these people really don't love themselves like that. These people really don't want to be here like that. Because it was projected onto me. So if I felt these feelings and it wasn't mine, them feelings really yours. That mean y'all feel that way? I'm saddened. I don't want them to feel that way. I don't want people to feel that way about themselves. You're better than that. You're a great individual. You're a loving individual. You're a kind individual. Don't let the devil use you, man. Because that's all it is. We're all vessels. And don't get it twisted that a spirit can't jump in and out of your ass. Because it can and I truly believe that a lot of these people that were in our lives, they just can't get right. And what I mean by that is the spirits, the demons, they're jumping in and out of them. They have no control. They have no control. Because these are individuals that do want to make a change in their life. That do want to be a better person. Do want to be better people. But they just don't know where to start. They don't know how. And that's where we come in. But we have to do the work within ourselves first. Before we go back out and help anybody else. I can't help you if I can't help myself. If I'm in, in such a wishy-washy situation in my mind, I can't help your ass. I have to strengthen me. I have to have the Lord work through me and use me so I can help others. And right now, y'all not going to understand that. These people ain't going to understand that. They don't understand that. Oh, they separate. And in, in their mind, oh, they being funny. They separated themselves. They being funny. No, we ain't being funny. This is life or death that we're talking about to what we're going through right now. This shift. This is life or death. You playing games? Are you silly? You crazy? You think I want to do this? No, this is all God's work. So he had to separate. 
he had to separate. And I'm telling you right now, that's that's just what happened. It don't mean a person people don't love you. It don't mean people are never gonna see you again. Of course we're gonna see you again. Of course we love you. But the next time you see us, you will not recognize us, but you will feel that the Lord has been working on us. You will feel his anointing on us. And you will know that there is definitely really a God and that he saves. In fact, you might as well say, y'all y'all might as well thank the Lord that he took one of them, one of the uh, uh, generations and separated them so they can break that generational curse. Y'all should be very blessed because the Lord could have said, I'm not choosing your family. I'm not choosing your, I'm not choosing somebody in your family to change the trajectory of all of y'all life. I'm not choosing it. But he chose y'all. He said, I'm going to take one person out of the family that's really been through some shit, that really try to keep that good demeanor, that good heart, that good spirit, the energy, everything. I'm going to take one person that I know I could, so I could work through. And I'm going to help them change the generational curses and break them in the family. Y'all don't understand that, though. The people that, you know, they don't understand that. They just looking at it like you being funny. No, I'm not being funny. I'm trying to change lives. Mine, of course, but change other people's lives that was dealing with the same turmoil that plenty of families has been dealing with for decades, centuries. Lives. <laughs> But what I will not respect and what I won't, you know, follow through with and help is people that show me fake love, man. People that show me fake love, I will not help you. I will not be at the forefront when I make it. When we make it, guys, when us chosen ones make it, where we going? I will be by myself. And I will not mention anyone in my testimony when I'm on that stage. When I'm talking to thousands of people. Potentially, I'm telling you right now, no one will be mentioned. People will say, who is your greatest inspiration? And I will say, God, in the name of Jesus. Who was there for you through all these trials? God was there for me. How did you come up with these ideas and these things? God placed it in me. God was the supporter. God was the one that did everything, every every thought that came to my mind and placed it out into the world was God. So the only one that I'm going to be able to put the praise on is Jesus Christ. Nobody else, no human form. They're going to say, what about a human? No human. And I'm going to say it like I said it. No human. Nah, I, I did this by myself. And I don't blame nobody because in life, you're going to have to do shit by yourself. That's how it is. But what I don't respect is when you do it by yourself, it'd be the same people that didn't have no faith in you, no vision in you, nothing in you, that they'll try to come back into the forefront of your life when you made it and act like, hey, see, look at me. I don't think so. That's all I don't respect. I don't respect that. I know we got to do shit by ourselves and make it by ourselves where we're trying to go. But I will not let you be basking in the success of me through all the trials that I had to go through by myself. Don't think so. <laughs> and like I said, we cool with doing it by ourselves. We know we have to. Ain't nobody going to change the trajectory of our lives unless we do it ourselves. So I'm not mad at that. I have no issues with that. What I do have an issue with is with people trying to take heed on your success. So let's say you made it by yourself. You have people try to come and take your success and, and, take, and, glor and take glorify. Take the glory. And it's like, no, where the hell were you the whole time? Don't try to come and take the glory for what I've done and what God has placed in me to do and help me with. Get your ass on. No, you didn't. That's what I don't respect. People will sit up there and tell you, you got to do it by yourself. Ain't nobody going to be there to help you. Absolutely. You're true. You're right. Boom. Yeah. But keep it that way when you see me shining. You get it? Keep it that way. You're right. Ain't nobody going to help you. You got to do it all by yourself. But when I'm shining after doing it by myself, stay where the hell you at on the bottom. Okay? Stay where you at. That's all that is. <laughs> That's why I tell people, yeah, we got to do it by ourselves. But you might want to actually help somebody because you never know how their life might end up and it can help you better your life, okay? But hey, what do I know? <laughs> Don't get confused with fake love, y'all. Period. That's all I got to say. You know what I'm saying? People will try to do the bare minimum, the bare minimum, 
and pretend and make it look like I did a plethora of shit. I did so much shit for you. And you look and be like, huh? What, what, what did you do? What the hell did you really do? And they'll bring up the crumbs that they did. And you'll bring up the phenomenal, vast, profound, big shit on numerous occasions that you've done for them. Which one compares? Which one compares? Your crumbs or my abundance that I give it to you, that I gave to you? Fake love. That's what we're talking about. See, people like us chosen ones, we give real love because we think things through. We think about what you really need because we pay attention. Because that's real love when you're paying attention. When you a person don't have to tell you what they need, you automatically know because you're paying attention. You care enough. Don't let people fool you and pretend like, oh, I care. No, you don't. A person that cares so profoundly, they pay attention to your ass. To a, to a point, they know exactly, to a T, what you need without you speaking a word. You ain't got to say shit. They'd be like, oh, I saw you didn't have a coat, man. This coat is, I don't know what out there. I bought you this coat, man. I don't know if it could fit you, but, you know, try it on. That person they didn't even have to say they needed a coat. Even though they needed one, they didn't even have to speak it. Because people already paying attention. They already know, oh, that brother need a coat. Let me see if I can, you know, get him a little coat or something, whatnot. You know, I, I see him all the time out here in these streets, whatnot, with no coat on. It's cold as I don't know what. That's the mind I got. But it's not around no more. Like how they say the cloth, the fabric ain't made no more. They don't make that kind of shit. Antiques, they don't make that kind of stuff no more. Yes. Y'all got stuff in your house right now. Knickknacks. Mirrors. Different stuff that ain't even made no more. They don't even make it no more. That's how it is. You won't find it nowhere. So if somebody break it, you ain't gonna find it nowhere. You ain't gonna find that knickknack nowhere. It's priceless now. The chosen ones, guess what? They're not going to be able to find another one of you. You're priceless. You, they will never, and let's repeat this again in this lifetime, they will never in this lifetime be able to find or meet another chosen one again. Don't get it confused, y'all. I've been there where people will say, I love you. I care about you. But the minute I need something that's big and vast, they'll do it. But they ain't doing it for free. Let me repeat that. They, they will do it. A person will do for you. But it's never for free. It's never for free, baby. Before you know it, they're going to come right back to you and tell you, remember what I did for you? Remember I helped you out? And you're going to look and be like, well, damn, I didn't know I had to pay you back for that or whatever the case was not. That's how, that's the world we're living in. We're living in that kind of, we're not living in a kind of world where, oh, you need that? Boom, here you go. Don't worry about paying me back. I'm, I'm good. We don't live in that kind of world. You kidding me? The people that's like that, they get used and then thrown out in the garbage. That's all. That's all. Plain and simple. Love on yourself. But don't get confused with the fake love because guess what? We don't do that around here. Love on yourself enough to where you know the difference between the fake love and the real love. Because you see, when you love on yourself so much, you're not going to take just any old thing. You, you, you're you going to see it for what it really is. And you're going to be like, nah, you know, damn well, you could do a little more than that. Like, come on now. Now, we're talking about people you know, not people that you really don't know and you're looking at like, you could do more than that. You really don't know if they could do more than that or not. You know, they, they probably could only do the little bit that they did, which is reasonable. It's, it's cool. But we're talking about people y'all know got it or know can do it and they just won't, but they'll do it for somebody else. That's what we're talking about. The people that you know has it, but they will do it for someone else. They will not do it for you. Okay. Those are the people you want to separate yourself from. Separate yourself from the people that don't see a value in you, that don't see barely nothing in you because they play in your ass. They play in us. When people do that to us, they it's basically a slap in the face like, huh, B. <laughs> like, like, B, you ain't worth it. You ain't shit. Basically, it's a slap in the face. 
So if I'm just a slap in the face type of person, how about I slap your ass in the face by leaving, by separation, by moving away? That's a bigger slap in the face because you know the energy that you brought to the table. <laughs> Take that away, y'all. And that's going to be a bigger slap in the face for these people. A bigger one. See, because people are not going to tell you your worth because they want to use, abuse, control, confuse. So they're not going to tell you, oh man, you, you, know, you don't know how strong you are, do you? They're not going to try to put it in you. That's why you have to separate yourself and put it in yourself. This is all a mechanism to keep you stuck. So why would I want you to figure out your power, your gifts, so you can separate yourself or you can like start having boundaries. You can start setting things for yourself because you know who you are. Uh, people don't want, control freaks don't want that. Control freaks do not want you to understand the gifts that, that, that resides in you where your strength exceeds their stupidity. Now you can, now you got control. You got the will now. Now you can say, get the hell out of my face. I know what I am. They don't want that. They want you to still be stuck and stupid. Still don't know who you are. Still wishy-washy. Not this way. Y'all better take control of loving yourselves, man. All these people going to come at the forefront and give you fake love and make you question what is real and what isn't. That's why it's very important to love on you. Profoundly. With that being said, y'all, Please stay prayed up with the most high. I had to pray my behind off last night at five in the morning because I woke up and almost had to go to the emergency room because the devil was bothering me. <laughs> he, he, he tried to bother me early morning, five in the morning. Okay. I jumped up out my sleep and couldn't breathe. My breathing was altered. That's why I'm going to head to the doctor after this video because something going on with my breathing. So we're going to find out and figure it out. But we give everything to Christ who strengthens us in the name of Jesus. And I'm, I'm, my faith is becoming way more bigger. And I'm not scared. I used to be very scared of things like this. I woke up really not being able to breathe, crying and everything. Like, oh, I was a little scared. Don't get me twisted. Only because five in the morning, everybody sleep. Which means I have to call the ambulance by myself to have them come five in the morning and make it downstairs or have them open the door. Like, it was just too much. It was too much. So I prayed to the Lord, please, Lord, get the pain away. And I will go today to the doctors to see what's going on. In the name of Jesus. Even though they probably can be to find nothing. Because that's they always do me like that. We can't find nothing. I'm like, okay. I guess I'll go back home. But it never hurts to check. And keep yourself healthy. And take care of yourself. Because if, if you don't take care of yourself, nobody else will. Nobody else can. That's another thing I tell y'all about. We can't blame everybody else for not being there. Not being proactive in our lives. You know, Like me, for instance. I needed a health advocate. I, I have yet to get one. You know, and I even asked a plethora of people if they could be my health advocate. And um, there were just excuse after excuse. It wasn't really a valid, you know, you know, care as far as really trying to help. You know what I'm saying? So I just put that at the back of me and I give everything to the Lord. Because like I said, he's going to bring the people in your lives that needs to be in your life. That's going to really care about you and going to really help you in a vast way. And I'm just, I can't wait for that. Like, I'm just so excited for that because I know it's, it shall come. It too shall come. And the minute it come, that's my family, you know, because we call people family when really we should be calling them relatives. Okay. There's a difference between family and relatives. So it is what it is though. I still love my relatives and um, <laughs> I love y'all too, man. Stay prayed up with the most high, man. It'll be strangers that'll love you more than your family and your relatives. Which is quite sad. It shouldn't be that way, but that's the world we live in, y'all. You'll have strangers that will just scoop you right up and help you in your dreams and your aspirations and stuff. And really see the visions in your life that you want to make a change and a difference. You'll have strangers that see that more than your family and your friends or whatever it is. Remember that, y'all. So give people a chance, man. You know, you never know if they might be the ones that's really there for you. You know. Love y'all. Again. Stay prayed up with the most high. Keep him at the forefront because we are at spiritual warfare right now. And it's a bad one. It's a big one. It's I can't even explain. Like there's no explanation of what's going on right now, man. Only thing I can say is Christ is mad. He's mad. He's like, you know what? Hey, it's time. It's time to start the separation. It's time to start shifting things. 
you know. And the only, only thing I can do is stay prayed up in the process. Because if you don't stay prayed up in the process, you will lose yourself. And you will be mixed up and caught up out here with all these other people that are lost and don't know where they're coming or going, whether they're coming or going. Okay? With that being said, I'm going to need for y'all to press those buttons. All my real subscribers, all my people, man, come on now. It was one person, and I still remember his name, Big Lohan. I still remember your name, baby. If you watch these videos, you actually wrote a comment, something nobody does, okay? You wrote a comment. I appreciate you, brother, for that, because I know it takes some time for this algorithm to start coming through and start getting these videos out, but I want to let you know, too, brother, start those videos that you said, start it. It's never as, you know, we always wait on things, and, you know, we, we, we tell ourselves, is it a right time to do it now? It is. Do it now, brother. I'm telling you right now, do it now. As scared as I was to come on this camera and press record and show myself to the world, do it, brother. It's the time. It is the time. God is putting it through everyone, all the chosen ones. He's putting it through us to put our stories out there, put our stuff out there. Put yourself out there, man. Go on blind faith. You got it, big long hand. You got it. You can do it, brother. I know you can do it. I just looked at your profile pic, and I can look at you and tell you a strong brother. You can do it. With that being said, like I said, press those buttons, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and giving me a chance because this world don't give people chances. And it'd be the greatest people that you can discover, but they won't give you a chance. So I thank y'all for giving me a chance at least. Love y'all. Really appreciate it, man. Hit those buttons and I'll see y'all on the next video. Have a great, wonderful day. It's the weekend. Thank God it's Friday, TGIF. Y'all enjoy it and stay safe, man. Watch your back. Watch your surroundings at all times. And I'll see y'all on the next video, Lord willing. All right, y'all. Peace out.